we do begin with breaking news. Within the last two hours, an El Paso judge found the state of Texas did not have enough evidence to keep 140 migrants in state custody after being accused of being involved in a riot. The migrants were accused of participating in a confrontation with the National Guard on April 12th. ABC 7's Eddie Berto Perez joins us live from the courthouse with the latest. Eddie. Good afternoon, Nicole. Today's court hearing involved a total of 142 migrants. El Paso Judge uh, Ruben Morales actually uh, decided that there was no probable, probable cause, as you said, to keep 140 migrants for riot participation. And now one migrant is not in, in state custody and another one will be charged with a different offense as well. Judge Morales also said that these four 140 migrants will not be in state custody anymore. The lawyer defending the migrants, Kelly Childress, said today's decision was a win for them, but it is one step because the El Paso District Attorney's Office can still try to charge them, but for children, it means it will take a lack of integrity. All these migrants were facing riot participation charges, as I said, and children also mentioned that what these mass arrests mean for, his, for her office. And what we're seeing is an effort to uh, get the headline to get get it on the news that 140 more migrants you know and they're using these inflammatory terms like breached the border and things like that which are just false and Nicole, Chief Public Defender Kelly Childers also told us what's next for these 140 migrants and where they will go now. I'll have more details coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 5. Reporting live outside of El Paso County Courthouse, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7.